Hello and welcome to the Go programming tutorial from tutorialcoding.com. Go is an exciting programming language started around 2007 and the first stable version released in 2012. It's built by a team of veteran software engineers at Google and a community of open source developers. It's designed to be clear and straightforward and avoid feature creep wherever possible. I start with a brief explanation of what Go's defining attributes are. I'll explain who this tutorial is created for, split up by difficulty levels. Next, I'll show a chart that details parts of this tutorial. And finish with a brief overview of the tooling that is needed to start programming in Go. What is Go? Go is a general-purpose systems programming language. This means that you can build a wide variety of applications with it. Go is an open-source programming language, which guarantees that its users won't face any copyright issues ever. Its cross-platform supports all major operating systems and has ports for some lesser-known ones. Go's source code is compiled to a native binary executable or library. This results in a very good performance when running Go applications. Compilation times for Go programs are fast. Really fast. For smaller programs, you won't even notice that's how fast. When writing the Go specification, the authors were guided by the famous quote, Perfection is achieved not when there is nothing more to add, but when there is nothing left to take away. This doesn't mean that it's, a, it's minimalistic, but all the parts that are in the specification and standard library have a good reason to be there and were carefully discussed before inclusion. This results in a very elegant language with a clean and concise specification that is readable and comprehensible by average humans in about a weekend. One of the major strengths of the Go programming language is concurrency. This means that multiple parts of the program can perform work at the same time. Go shines here because it uses a high-level abstraction to these problems and enable the developer to focus on the task at hand instead of digging into the intricacies of the underlying system. Go has an exceptionally good networking stack. It's trivial to create a functional HTTP web server with only a few lines of code. Additionally, it brings support for most of the major encryption standards to enable secure networking with little friction. Finally, it comes with a good set of basic packages in a standard library that give a good foundation for most programming projects. Who is this tutorial for? This tutorial is released one unit at a time, starting with the basic units, which introduce the basic syntax, concepts and tooling. These are aimed at newcomers to the Go programming language. Background knowledge in other programming languages won't hurt, but it's also suitable for absolute beginners. The intermediate level units build on the base units and explore more progressive subjects, like the standard library. People with a basic understanding of the Go programming language might want to start here. The advanced level units go beyond this and dig deeper into more complex use cases and the compiler architecture. These units are aimed at developers with a good fami familiarity of the Go programming language that are looking for more complex programming examples. How is the tutorial structured? The tutorial has an incremental sequence of units that start with a basic level and get progressively more advanced. They build on each other and focus on specific subjects. Each unit builds on an example application that illustrates the subject. This is accompanied by a unit video embedded from YouTube and unit notes that provide a textual description of the unit. The tutorial units are all listed by level in the tutorial index, 
with their title and summary. The index is found at tutorialcoding.com slash go. Tooling. To get started, the Go tool is needed. This can be downloaded from golang.org slash dl and is needed to compile programs. A text editor is needed to edit source files. There are plenty of choices here, though I suggest to get one that supports Go syntax highlighting to improve the coding experience. I'm personally using the Vim editor, but because it has a fairly steep learning curve, I only recommend it to more advanced users. A terminal is needed to interact with the Go command and compiled applications. Every major desktop ships some form of terminal, so nothing must be installed here, but you should have a basic familiarity with it, especially how to navigate the file system and set environment variables. At last you will need a web browser. Anyone will do, though I suggest to use one that supports modern web standards. Some of the units will use web-based interfaces and the browser is needed to access them. Thanks for watching. As always, you can find the unit sources and notes on the tutorialcoding.com website that you can reach by clicking on the orange annotation. If you found this unit video insightful and enjoyable, please like it and leave a comment. Subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow my Google Plus or Twitter feed. Goodbye.